Okay, so you have a video testimonial or some type of video that you want to embed on your Squarespace website. Well, this is the way you do it. First and foremost, you are not going to upload the actual video to Squarespace. So you upload it to YouTube or Vimeo, but you do not upload the actual video content, the video file, the MP4 to Squarespace. You're going to upload it to Vimeo or YouTube. So I'm going to walk you through that right now. I have a URL selected from YouTube. I'm going to click and show you this video right here. Yeah, so you can see here, this is a vertical video that you're looking at right now. The borders on the side, if I actually drag this, you'll see adjust in the video. So as I get really close, you'll see the, the black space goes away as you go through it. Now, I'm showing you that for a reason. So let's go to Squarespace and make some adjustments. All right, so I'm going to double click into this page. And what we're going to do, you can do this on any of your pages on your site. I'm going to add a section. I've already done this right here, but I'm going to do it again to just show you. You're going to click add section. You could choose what you want. I always start with blank. For the most part, start with blank. You start with this text box in the middle. So I'll click a plus sign down here and you'll see video right here. Click on that. So this is how you add a video. You'll see it says video URL supports YouTube and Vimeo links. It actually supports Loom links as well. So if you've ever used loom.com, I love Loom. I'm using it right now to record this video. You could add those in as well. So I'm going to paste this video. It says searching, locates it. Boom. Perfect. You could add a custom thumbnail, caption, other stuff. Cool. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this video and drag it over to the right side and just drop it there. And then I'm going to type in client love, type that in, set it to heading three. It could be heading two, maybe a little bit big. Perfect. And then enter form if some, some placeholder text will go here and voila that is set to go so once i'm done i click save and you'll see now that the video itself is showing up here and so somebody clicks play it will play it for them now the one challenge is you'll see that there's a lot of dead space here and here. So if your video is recorded in a portrait mode, you're gonna wanna probably use Vimeo. Vimeo handles this really well. Let me show you. So I found this video here on Vimeo. As you can see, it's a iPhone style shot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the website and I'm going to add in this video here. Now, what you could do with YouTube or Vimeo, and I forget the terminology in Vimeo, but I know for YouTube, it's unlisted. So you don't have to make the video public. It cannot be private, but it could be unlisted, which basically means if someone searches for it on YouTube, they won't find it, but you could use it on your website. All right. So you could see now, just as I've uploaded the video, it has filled up the screen like a little bit too much. It's a little bit too wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little pencil and I'm going to change the content width to, I kind of want something in between that. So let's do something like 60. There we go. So that should be better for most screen sizes. And just for the sake of simplicity to see the difference in this section, let's just go dark to, there we go. And so now you have this set up. And if I hit save, you'll see that for Vimeo, especially, it's going to show up way better for like showing off a video. So if I hit play, you'll see that it is now playing the video. So that is how you add a video testimony or any video to your Squarespace website. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, any questions at all, drop them in the comments below about Squarespace, about training, about software, about automation. I respond to all comments. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some very important information but it also tells me that you got value from this video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.